Well, it's day two on Nine Bay. You know, we had such a great day on Tequila Booby yesterday. And today we're expecting a lot of caddis. You know, we saw caddis last night, so it could be diving caddis and it could be margarita, which imitates diving caddis. So it's another day on Nine Bay today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. We had such a great day yesterday, you know, with the uh, tequila booby on the flat. Today we're going to try it again, Nine Bay Lake, beautiful lake over here in these Kootenays near Golden, BC. The thing is with this lake too, there's a lot of sedge coming off. Last night, uh, yesterday, and even in the evening, we saw a lot of caddis coming off. So when we have caddis, we've got a lot of diving caddis that work well. We've got a really nice diving caddis pattern. Also, the booby, that margarita booby, it's got the green, it's got the white flash on it. It actually imitates diving caddis. So if they continue to only feed on the shoals, I'll switch over to margarita today and maybe show you that booby pattern. And if we go a little deeper, we might actually get into chronomids or some emerging sedge or even diving caddis, which is kind of a cool way to fish. You get a couple of weeks where they do it, but it's a lot of fun. So let's get out here and see what we got. the bat I'm gonna start with margarita we're seeing some fish on the shoals again I don't see much happy many happy fish out in the uh, deeper water so I think I'm gonna start with a little margarita and it's a great little great booby pattern that works really well when you have uh, merging caddis or even diving caddis so we're gonna give it a shot okay oh I got one he's moving towards it he's on it you go oh, oh. Turned, he grabbed it and then he bailed. Oh, that was so good. He grabbed it once. I just slightly pricked him. Try it again. I've got two moving through here. Pretty happy. Just doing their thing. Boy, it's pretty clear, pretty bright. They're moving around. Guy was on it. He attacked it. He missed it. Oh, and there he is there. He's pretty happy. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he's turning on it. Might be too bright. Oh, I got another guy this way. Little guy. Maybe he'll eat it. Oh, he sees it. He's on it. Oh, he hit it. Oh, oh there. Oh, and he, oh, he took it right the last minute and I just stung him. <laughs> As soon as I stopped it, so they're chasing it, but they want it just slightly stopped because that's when that guy took it. So with this bright sunshine, we may have to actually stop it a little bit. I don't like stopping it only because it, you know, they tend to really swallow it. But then again, if that's the only way we're going to get them, we just may have to. Whoa, as soon as I stopped it, <laughs> oh, just had to stop it a bit. You know, got his attention. Oh, that's big air. Here he goes. Oh, look at him go. Boy, when you get him on these flats. Oh, look at the air time. Oh, oh man. That fish is six feet in the air. Wow. He's not happy. And that's all it took. You know, he was just mulling around. And the first couple of fish. Oh, there he goes. And the first couple of fish, I hooked, or I had chase. But if I kept it going quick, they weren't biting it. They were nipping at it, but they weren't grabbing it. So that guy, he was chasing it. I saw him on it. I just stopped it briefly, and then he grabbed it, and then I hooked him up. So I'm just having to stop that fly just that little bit. I don't like to, because they normally, you know, they grab it and get it on their tongue a little bit. But this guy, could see he's in the corner, so I got him just right, right where I want him. Yeah, right in the corner. He just, he just barely grabbed it. He's barely hooked. 
And that's nice because he just stopped enough to grab it and turn on it. And what they do is they follow it and then they quick make a quick turn and grab it. He took two big aerials and he's just, he's just barely hooked. You can see where he's hooked. He's just got, got uh, Margarita just in the side of the mouth. There, got him. Oh, gorgeous. So a little different technique today. I just got to stop it ever so slightly. So as soon as they're on it, I see him chasing it. I'm just gonna stop her briefly until I see him do the little turn, and then I'll set the hook. And I got this guy, you see where he's hooked? He's right in the, right in the corner here in the mouth. Just barely hooked. So he just, he swiped at it. Boy, in the tough part of the jaw. There it is. There's Margarita. I'll show everybody Margarita a little later. And look at that gorgeous fish, wow. They are just, Spectacular in here. The big, the big aerials. Look at that. They're gorgeous fish, you know, 20 plus inches. Chrome, just beautiful fish. Oh, there he goes. Wow. Well, looking forward to another spectacular day. You know, the fish are moving in here. Dale's trying some indicators, He's trying to something a little different with the caddis, because we know they are taking diving caddis. But you know, when you got them on the margarita and the shoals, with the diving, imitating the diving caddis. We tried vampire leech, we tried some other ones, wouldn't touch it. But something that looks like a diving caddis, they're all over. Whew, could be another great day. out again, get it prepared. I got another fish cruising. He's a little further back. He's about uh, 80, 80 feet back there. So I'll have to go and get him. I'll wait here for a minute, see if anybody cruises by. And then really the whole goal is search them out. You know, get within, get within 40 feet, 50 feet, make a nice long cast. Make sure you lead the fish. You know, they're always gonna be pointing a certain way. If they're going away from you, it's not so good. Coming towards you again, not so good. But if they're going sideways, try to position yourself so the fish is always coming sideways. Throw the lead cast about 10 feet in front. Let the fly sink. These fish are moving fairly slow in the morrow, you know, chum in the bottom, looking for food. And then as soon as you know that fly is about in the range, start stripping it back. And you'll see them follow it. You'll see them chase it. And if they make a little bolt, if you see a little bit quicker movement, these are on it. So stop, just give it a brief pause so they can grab it and then set the hook. It's tough really tough to do because you're sight fishing and you get anxious, right? You pull it away from them. So many times I have pulled that fly away from the fish. It drives me crazy, but it's the way it is. You get excited, it's just exciting fishing, bottom line. <laughs> he saw it, he waited there, he was sitting there, and then he grabbed it. Nice, right in the corner again, right in the corner of the mouth. Wow, barely hooked. Nice fish though. And again, when you want to use margarita is when you have, when you have a lot of caddis, when you have diving caddis. This fly really comes into its own when those fish are looking for diving caddis. You know, we get them on this flat on boobies too. You know, as far as tequila, it's always a winner. But right now that diving caddis is gonna pick up a lot of fish. So margarita, that's when you want to pull it out. Because yesterday, you know, I tried Zambuca, but Zambuca is more of a leech pattern. And, you know, they're not feeding on leeches. So when, so the different boobies, you know, that we have, tequila is pretty well the winner all the time. It's just a really good overall pattern. And then, of course, we use margarita when we, uh, when we want to get the diving caddis. And I like the Zambuca when the leeches are moving. So I'll get this guy in. Oh, yeah. There he is there. Just right on the corner. Just kind of side hooked. I love that when it's side hooked. Easy to get out. So it's right on this other side. There he is there. Just unbutton him. Right in the corner of the mouth. There's a the margarita. And look at that. Another. Oh, he's just still hot. But they're, they're just beautiful chrome fish in here. Look at that. Look at that. 
They're like clones. They're just gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Wow, I'm gonna let him go without him splashing on me. There he goes. Another dandy. Oh, it's gonna be another great day with Margarita in the shallows imitating the, uh, the diving caddis. But you know, if you wanna hunt fish on Morro Shoals, ideal setup right here. See these boats, you can hop in, you can stand in them. Your net's handy, tons of room. I've got four rods available to me. It's just, it's outstanding and it's super, super secure. Plus you got electric power all day. Oh, finally got it in front of him. <laughs> Slowly came towards it and grabbed it. Nice. Tough to see him in the riffle, but they're still moving through here. Oh, what a great day. Oh, man, another toad fish. Just a big whale. Oh, 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 oh. And again, margarita right in the corner. They're just slashing at it, you know, they're coming around it and slashing. Okay. All right, where's margarita? Right there, right in the corner. Just gotta pop it out here. Yeah, tuck it right in the right in the top lip. There's a there's a little margarita. Now look at this, another gorgeous fish. You know this one's probably close to close to five pounds. Look at that. That is just a toad. You know, it's just weighing some meat. They're just thick across the back. Look at the colors. You know, they take on that moral color. Just a gorgeous fish. Oof. Gone. <laughs> you know, you can't beat it. Talk a little bit about recommended setup, and it's the same setup we always use for the margarita and every other booby we fish. Again, very critical. Uh, Margarita's got the green. Looks like, a, you know, the caddis, the diving caddis. That much line, you know, five feet. Five feet from my fly line down. You want to keep it short because you want that booby near the bottom. Seven, six, seven, eight-way rod. Something stout in any kind of line, but make sure the line is that fast sink. So you get them for, you know, six weight up to eight weight again. Super fast sink. Six weight, seven weight, tight, really fast sinks. You want that fly on the bottom real quick. And now I'm gonna search for a few more because there's a few of those big fish cycling through this one little pocket. Just incredible. Oh, 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 oh. gotta love it. Another one on margarita. Big fish too, wow. Oh yeah, look at that right in the corner again. There's margarita. Oh, there it is again, just another dandy fish. Wow, just doesn't get any better. Gotta have those, gotta have those flies in your arsenal. Just have to. He's right, look at that, right in the corner, like right there, right here. Just there it is, there it's out. Margarita, hold them up for everybody. Oh, another, you know, they're all 20 inch plus fish. Okay, I had my shower this morning already. Uh, there he is there, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. I'll just let him slip down. There he goes. Oh, another dandy. All I could say is margarita. That's it, that's all you can say today. You know, it's just been a killer fly. Imitates the diving caddis. They just love it on the shoals right now because that's where the fish are feeding. And you know what? There's more fun stuff to come. Oh, wow, that's, uh, I don't know how many fish that is. There's a whole bunch. So while I'm cleaning off my glasses after getting soaked by that last fish, let's go to the bench. And you know what we're gonna tie you up? You betcha, margarita on the bench. Today on the bench, I wanna tie you up margarita booby. This fly really shines when the fish are keying on diving caddis and caddis. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly.
For the hook, we'll use a Mustad R70 size 10, some 30D yellow nano silk to tie with, some 6mm pink foam for the eyes, some white marabou for the tail, some yellow straggle for the body, and some white marabou for the wing. So to start the fly off, I've put my thread on the hook, and I'm going to lay my pink foam right on top, cinch down, and then I'm just going to figure eight to create the eyes. You could put some head cement or some super hard as nails on that after you figure eight them, just to hold them in place, but I just like to tie the figure eights. So now that I've got the eyes tied in, I'm just going to cut off the excess, make them about even, and we'll shape those a little later, and then I'm going to move my thread to the rear of the hook. Now I'm going to tie in the tail, and what I've done is strip the marabou feather down one side, and I've already used the other side. Yeah, so I've got a little clump of marabou, and I'm going to start about the middle of the hook, just to form a little bit of a body, and wrap it back to form the tail. And when I get back to the tail, I'm just going to take one wrap behind, and then a front again. That's how, that helps it stand up a bit. And then I'm going to pull it to length, and I'm going to break it about the length of the hook, and that forms a tail. Now that we have the tail tied in, I'm taking my straggle string, and this is really, really nice new material. Makes really good bodies. We're going to tie it in. Again, tie it right behind the eyes. So you got a good secure to the hook. Tie it back forward, right to your eyelet, and then wrap. And take a lot of wraps. You want a nice full body on this pattern. So let that uh, material really stand out. And as you put it in, just stroke it back to form the body. Now that we have the body tied in, I've taken uh, a good clump of white marabou this time. I've used both sides of the quill to form the, the, the wing. I like it a little bit fluffier. And we're gonna tie that right in behind the eyes just to form the wing. And then what we'll do is once it's tied in, I'm gonna pull it so it's just right back to the tail and break it off. Now to finish the fly off, a lot of people will actually whip finish right back here behind the eyes. I actually like to pull it forward and whip finish right in front of the eyes because then my eyes, my eyes will slide back a little bit. So we're just going to take a couple of whip finishes right in front of the eyes and we'll cut off our thread and now we'll trim the eyes so that they're nice and round. Now to complete the fly, all I'm going to do is snip off the edges and this is the edge of the foam and just to kind of round them off so the eyeballs are somewhat rounded. So as you can see today, the fish are really keyed on margarita booby. If you're fishing lakes with good caddis hatches, make sure you have some margarita boobies in your box. Yeah, coming to get a margarita. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're looking, they're eating those diving caddis. That's the only insect I've seen that's coming off. Diving cat, yeah. Well, we saw caddis on the boat, right? A couple were diving down, trying to get through the water. And that's, it's a killer. So there, there's the collection. That's, that's what you got to have when you come out. Essentially, we got everything covered, right? We got the darker ones for the leeches. We got ones that imitate dragonflies. I mean, you can use the dragons, but if you're on the morrow, and that's all they're eating, right? When they switch on and yeah. off to different flies, dragons we have here, like I said, leech patterns. So Zambuca is a great leech imitation. We got the really good ones here for the diving caddis. So that's one of the, that's margarita. That's working more. great. Well, he wants a couple margarita. Well, you have in to, case I break yeah, one. I know. And then of course, another variety. You gotta have the various colors for the different hatches that occur. I mean, of course we have no booby that imitates a chronomid, but that's what chronomid is for. <laughs> But when the fish are keyed, like they are on the shoals right now, oh, yeah. you can be hanging an indicator all day and get skunked. Yeah. Leeches, vampire leeches, chronomids, everything we've thrown out we've there. We've thrown everything at them. And nothing on a clear to me to sink. They're feeding on the shoals, yeah. right on the moral. And if you don't have these, you're scooped. You are. No one else catch anything on the lake. And I've had, yeah. I don't know how many, I'm in the teens and it's just, well, same with you, right? On the, on the tequila. Oh yeah. yeah. But they're loving that today. Okay. These are the diving caddis. Give, let me give her a try. Go beat him up.
big. Why am I backing? I saw a couple of logs sitting by shore. I thought they were logs cast to it and they were fish. And this one, again, on margarita, you know, it really looks like those caddis dipping down and, and laying the eggs. And it works great when you have that. So if you have that, you got a bunch of margaritas, you got a good caddis hatch, or caddis come back to lay their eggs, it works perfect. That's got big. He barely gets in there. That's a, wow, that's a 26 plus inch fish. Look at, look at the size of this thing. Holy cow. You gotta come over. But look at the size of this fish. This is a good, I don't know how long he is. It's gotta be 26 plus. But look at that. Look at that fish. Wow. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Look at the chrome colors and stuff. Beautiful specimen, man. She's gonna wanna go. Look at that, like it's just, what? Oh, there she goes. 26 plus, I don't know how big that was. It was about that long. 24 inch, that had to be 26, 27. <laughs> Crazy, sight fishing. And there was two of them there. The storm has come in. <laughs> Time to flee the lake. <laughs> <laughs> well, they called for it, you know. They yeah. said it was gonna get pretty ugly this afternoon. What a great day, you know. Me, I uh, had the margarita, I used it all day to imitate those uh, diving caddis, because there's caddis around. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. We haven't been here in 15 years. We've come back and the lake's better than ever. I know Just 15 fantastic. years. Well, we'll be back. You know, there's some great other area lakes we're going to hit here in the fall. You know, the special thanks to Mike Riley and all the Frog Boat boys. You know, Randy Puck came up with us and Johnny Kowalczyk. It was, it was unreal. We had just a blast. Great time. And we stayed at the Cedar House Chalet's fabulous accommodation. We're in their lodge there. And uh, you'll like, see pictures of it. There's room for about 18. It's fantastic. fantastic. And we also had Davey. Davey came out. Davey oh, yeah, Burns, Burns has yeah. got to start up a guide service here in Golden. Yeah. And uh, we're going to come back in the fall and hook up with him. He's the only guide in the area. So yeah, got that. It's going to be phenomenal. So when you come out here, take care, conserve our waters, and we'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly.